I said. Bro. Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry, bro. My no. bad, dude. You okay? Yeah, I just had something in my eye. I don't really want my characters to date anybody per se, just because I feel like it makes it so weird. But it's so funny, man. The awkward stuff is so funny. But doing a Jason Poheim style, the micro cringe. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I've seen some clips. All right, we need to go get some kind of vehicle. You don't tell the people under you to suck it. I'd probably use something more profane, but yeah. Whoa, what? How? I don't know. Then I carried a bike while riding another bike all the way up to the mountain. At my campsite, and then I put them down. And then the second I turned around, one of the bikes was gone, and, and then I threw the other one angrily off the cliff. And then I oh, you, oh, you fell on the cliff. Sorry, that's not. God damn it! You literally <laughs> want me to die, Eric? <laughs> Why are you laughing at it? I don't know. <laughs> Did it go well, Eric? It depends what your definition of well is. I don't know. Like I said, I don't even know if I want anything right now. I'll check the wow wow. No, nah, none of that. Still celebrate, bro. That's it. Bro. Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry, bro. My no. bad, dude. Okay, here you go. I apologize, homie. Here we go. Hey, that's on me, gangy. Let me know if you want anything. I don't know if I want to be with somebody. Like You do. You want to find peace. But who said so being with somebody is going to bring me that peace? You? Well, yeah. I mean. Okay, so sorry. I thought it was a credible source. My bad. It's a terrible source. Why would you trust I thought that? you would have really good authority over you. That's like treating something you get off Infowars is like. <laughs> You're not f***ing Alex Jones. You're fine. <laughs> I just think maybe you know you a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Just a wee bit. I think I'm just too awkward now. <laughs> what do you mean you're too awkward? The time I spent alone so long, I just I'm not the same. Let's see how well I know you. Name the top five most awkward things you said to her afterwards. Well, uh -huh. I guess it starts Go with on. saying, you know, I'm sorry I'm really antisocial. A small social battery. Mm -hmm. Same. Um, I really don't like people too much, even though I basically... Every choice I make is determined by just trying to help other people. What did she say to that? Uh, pretty sure it was just that she was the same. Good. It's not even awkward. I've seen you say way weirder stuff. Like what? Well, at least you didn't tell her that going to prom was unproductive. Yeah, I'm never gonna live that down. Uh, nope. Yeah. I did agree with you. You okay? Is anybody ever okay? We're gonna be friends. You gotta know how to spill the tea with me about girls. And vice Listen, versa. The talk we had was like two days ago. Yeah, so everybody knows that in this city, all great friendships start with tea. This is true. I'm about, about to spill some lava hot tea. Really? So you gotta spill some first. All right, I mean. This is pretty much the, the Boston Tea Party right here. The Boston Tea Party, huh? Yeah, no harbor though. No harbor? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of tea. I was just kind of explaining like my whole situation, but like not the whole situation. That tweet was like really bad for the stocks. The one I had the EMS put out? I just didn't want you to like drive all the way up here and then- Yeah, that's acceptable. There, but also it was like, it was like right after I got done talking to her and that was like not a good luck. You need to give details. You're being a real dude right now. Okay, tell me what to tell me what the details specifically. Everything. Everything. That's very what? like the scope on that is huge. <laughs> With Fiona. I mean it was like extremely Are you awkward, which is she I'm not interested. What did you guys talk about? Did you guys decide you had a good time? Even though you're both awkward? Did you connect about that? I mean, here's the reality. Yeah, I mean, she's nice, you know, like you said. Mm -hmm. She's obviously attractive, but mm -hmm. I just don't know if we're gonna click like that, if you will. I guess we'll see, but I don't know. Also, oh, did like, you guys like not know each other super well before that. Oh, not at all. Oh, Only time I've okay. ever spoken with sense. her was like when I arrested her years ago. Oh, I thought this was like an ongoing thing, or like you guys. No, had, this like, literally happened this because was there was a traffic stop with Penzone where uh -huh. she was apparently like looking for someone to date. It was like mm -hmm. looking for cops specifically, and then Penzone gave me a phone number, and I had no idea who it was. I called the Yo. phone number, and it was her. And then yeah, Penzone, the homie. You know, whatever that means. Homie, friend, buddy, pal. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I know what homie <laughs> means, but oh, apparently I'm already like a dad, which. <laughs> You're a what? To whom? I guess like you know. Okay. And I I don't know what the f Glorion was being so weird about, but I don't know. How's Glorion the one you're going on about when Hazel's the one that was holding you up? It was a joke. Hazel's? Yeah, Hazel holding me oh. up and me walking toward the edge of the roof. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to see how people would react. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I pointed and said Fiona. <laughs> God damn it, and then ran over. No. Well, because she was just no. talking about how Hazel's all protective, apparently. Yeah, he definitely is. I mean, she literally just asked me to prom, and then the next day, Hazel was like all up in my case about why are you sleeping with my sister? Oh my God. Literally oh not. my God, it all makes sense. 
Well, if it helps, I have never enjoyed anything less than going to that prom. Oh, well, you like to grind. I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> Thanks. It was not fine, Beric. <laughs> it was the least fine thing to ever happen before we even got there. Finley calls me and says, Andy, will you go to prom with me? And I say, uh, no. <laughs> I have a million other things I would rather do than go to prom. And then he starts going, no, no. No one will go with me, and I want to go. Wonder why. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> go with the girl you're seeing. Go with your girlfriend. He's like, we're not dating, and she's going with someone else. And I was like, okay, well, what? Your thing ship, situation ship. Go with her. He goes, no, she already has a date, and I can't find one, which means I'm not gonna be able to go. And she's going. And I was like, oh my god, fine, I'll go to the fucking prom with you, but I want you to be aware. Which, by the way, Barry Benson is my brother, and Finn is one of his subordinates. Entire ADMC refers to me as Auntie Andy. So this boy pretty much took the equivalent of his aunt to prom. And I was like, Finn, that's embarrassing. And he goes, I know it is, but it's the only way I can get it. And I was like, okay, fine. Yep. Respectable. You probably watched Chumash. Game of Thrones one too many times, but you know, it's... Uh-huh. Yeah. So I go to Chumash, where we're supposed to meet everyone. And mm -hmm. his situation ship is going with someone else. <gasps> but apparently the person they're going with makes a comment and says, can I trick... Like, they find out that Finn's going with me, and they say, can I trade you so that I can go with Andy? Which makes Finn's situationship girl absolutely spiral and go on this drunken tirade of like, oh, everybody just wants to go with Andy Jones because she's so pretty and successful. Why doesn't everyone go to the prom with Andy? <laughs> Losing her mind. She's stumbling and falling over, and I'm on the phone with Tessa, and I'm like, Tessa, this is terrible. And then I'm freaking out because I know you're there, and I'm like, if he doesn't know the relationship Finn and I have, it's going to be weird, and that he's going to think that I was lying about everything I just told him the other day as I go to prom with somebody else and, it, and then I called the guy who was running the whole thing and told him to find me a way out of this if I had to bail and Tessa was ready with a trash truck to pick me up so <laughs> yeah no I was uh, certainly hoping that that wasn't the case but even then you know no it's it's definitely not the case and if it ever was it would not be with Finn probably be with you <clears throat> one second huh I'll, I'll be right back. I just wait, one sec. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you okay? Yeah, I just had something in my eye. What? Why would you have to go over there to get something out of your eye? To see more clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you go to a cliff's edge to see more clearly. Yeah, it always helps me. Okay. You can ask anybody that has any meetings with me at all at any time. It's usually on like a cliff or like a hill somewhere. Yeah, I feel like you just walked off and started screaming and never no. coming back. No. Okay. But yeah, that was my horrible, horrible, horrible prom experience. Yeah, and then the person that his situation ship went with texted me afterwards and it's like, I'll hit on you later. Don't worry. And I'm like, what? The <laughs> and then I screamed that I'm going to go back to my hill where things were simple that I don't date and leave me alone. Yeah, there's some days where I've wanted to be back on the island, so I can relate.